I have found a new chat dev substitute. For the people who do not know what chat dev is, I highly recommend you watch my video on it. It's basically a framework that allows you to create powerful softwares in minutes with AI agents. Now, they don't just produce your regular low tiered software. It produces decent functional programs that can be deployed in multiple environments as well as different workflows. It's quite reputable now and I was probably one of the first few peoples to find it. Now just like I found ChatDev, I'd like to shine light on something quite similar as it replicates the same framework but more efficiently. It's quite under the radar but hopefully this video shines some light on this amazing new framework that the devs have created. Introducing Genia or also known as Gen IA. It's a framework that impersonates to be your engineering generative AI team. Imagine an LM integrated within your team's tools or APIs, capable of executing tasks or handling queries independently. It can contribute to time and energy efficiently. Well, Genia can accomplish this all. Now, Genia is an AI assistant developed for engineering tasks. It's a dynamic, intuitive tool capable of managing tasks within your team's Slack channels or locally on your desktop with your own code editor. It's open source, which is the most amazing part. You can build softwares like ChatDev. You can expand your workflow and deploy multiple different types of AI agents to complete your tasks. Throughout today's video, we'll be going more in depth on this new framework of Genia by showcasing the capabilities, showcasing the features, and lastly going over as to how you can install it locally on your desktop. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. As we mentioned at the start, we're going to be taking a look at Genia which is basically a new AI platform that replicates an engineering team. Now, this is something that can be seamlessly integrated into your own production environment or workflow. You're able to operate it alongside with whatever you're trying to work on as it can execute different types of tasks on your behalf. It stands out for its ability to stay current with the latest industry best practices while also understanding unique nuances of your team's workflow. Genia's capability to learn autonomously carries out tasks and makes it into an incredible and impactful as well as an efficient addition to your team. It's a quick learning curve and it presents a different type of approach to helping you execute different types of tasks. Now, this is something that is quite intuitive and it's a powerful tool for a lot of different types of developers and it's something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. Now let's actually take a look at the framework so we get a better understanding. If you guys would like to access our private discord in which you can get amazing subscriptions for free where you can access free AI tools, get exclusive giveaways, partnerships, consultation, networking opportunities, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news and content. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there's a lot of value that you can gain off this channel. So with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Let us take a look at the framework. It's quite similar to how ChatDev operates as well as many of the other autonomous agents do. You first start off with the user input or this is basically where the event is actually triggered. From this, the task is then given to the actual application in which the planning agent then sources it to two different sidelines. It first works on sourcing the best practices that will be used to create the plan or the architecture for the task. It then sources through different types of tools, plugins, APIs to help solve and execute this task. From this, it is then sent back to the planning agent and then given a basic generation to the different environments that will be needed to execute this task using the two sidelines that we basically gathered. From this, we can see that it orchestrates tools that are empowered through the execution agent and it basically sources different ways that are the best practices to basically generate the input. 
and we can see over here it gives a good depiction as to how it works the execution agent has different methods being sent out in different ways and it then selects the best execution to be given back to you and this is the plan validation in which it is sent back to you it sees that which practice was the best approach and then that approach is then sent back to you and that is the one that gets generated to you now in simpler terms you can see in this basic generation before genia you see that you have so many different other choices but with this execution agent it is then sent to the user input is then sent to the robot which is the ai agent and it then sources through each and every category and finds the best option for you and in this case it then sources out that best option and then generates it for you it's in simple terms it's basically just your ai assistant and it has been more or so refined to become a better version than chat dev and it can be implemented into your slack channels for free without an api key and that's one of the best things about this and that's something that we're going to cover in the next step of the video we're going to take a look at how you can actually install it to install this, you're going to need to fulfill a couple of prerequisites. Firstly, you're going to need Git, which is an application that will help you clone this repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you'll need Python as your code. And lastly, you need a code editor so you can input API keys, edit it, as well as doing further integration through Visual Studio Code. So once you have these three things fulfilled, we can move forward. Another thing I want to mention is that we're going to be utilizing Streamlight. You're also able to deploy this through Slack, which they have a good demonstration as to how you can get started and start building off of Slack with Genia. But in this case, we're going to be installing Streamlit and we'll get further into this in the next step of the video. So guys, what you want to do first is scroll up all the way into the GitHub repository. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. But what you want to do is click on the code button, which is the green button. And what you want to do is copy this link. Once you have copied it, you want to open up command prompt. Once command prompt is opened up, you want to type in git clone and paste the link. Now, once you have done that, you can click enter and this will start cloning this repository onto your desktop. Now, if it starts to slow down and if it's slowing down, in this case, you can just click enter and it will start executing the commands faster. So once this has finished, I'll be right back. So once it has finished cloning, what you can do now is type in CD gen IA, which is getting into the Genia folder. You can click enter. Once you're inside here, you want to scroll down on the repository and you want to go down and copy this code over here, which will install Streamlit as well as Genia's app framework within it. So you want to copy and paste it into command prompt, click enter. This is going to take a couple of minutes to a couple of seconds. It's going to start installing the requirements for this. So once this is done, I'll be right back. Now to start this web app, you just simply need to paste Genia into your command prompt and click enter and you'll be able to open it up on your web app. Now, if you're going to be utilizing different LMs, you'll need to input the API keys and this is fairly easy. You can go into Visual Studio Code. You can open the folder up, find where you clone Genia. Once you have that open up, click on .n, it'll say .template and this is where you're going to input your API keys. In this case, if we're going to be deploying it through Slackbot, you can basically just input your token over here for Slack. But if, in this case, for API keys, you put it up over here. Once you have done that, you just simply click save. Once that is done, go into the Genia folder, go into main.py and click run. You'll be able to start playing around with it on your local host and you'll be able to start generating, creating softwares, having the AI agents do many of the different types of things as an AI assistant would. And that's easy as that guys. Now we'll get to the next step of the video where we'll showcase a couple of demos as well as a couple of examples as what you can do with Genia. Now, before we move on, I just wanted to mention quickly that Genia has a good documentation as they have a lot of guides for developers, people who are just trying to install it. So if you have a lot of errors while installing this, you can definitely take a look at the documentation as they give a good description as to what you can do to help solve it. You have people or guides, sorry, on showcasing how you can implement different toolkits, different plugins within Genia. You have a developer's guide as well as incorporating Slack app bot with Genia. 
and this is fairly easy it's the same thing that we showcase you just simply go into the root directory which i showcase input your tokens and then navigate to your slack api dashboard and start following the instructions that are stated over here there's also an faq it's just simple like descriptions as to what you can do how much it costs and etc now let's actually get to the next step of the video where we talk a little bit more about the features what you can do with it and etc there's a lot of supported tools connected with genia and which you can utilize for a lot of different use cases you have argo cd you have amazon's aws you're able to connect this with github you have jenkins cover notes you have open policy agent pager duty slack webhook and so many others which are being released on the monthly you have different tools also incorporated these are tools 3.0 and they're basically new tool building paradigms so if you scroll down they give you a good description as to how this is done and they're also working on security which is trying to prevent any sort of privacy leaks making sure that they have full-on encryption with your data that is stored within Genia. This example where Genia was actually configured to become a part of Slack Teams and we can see over here that it helps as an assistant within the Slack group. It helps troubleshoot, provide insights, give you generation to certain types of answers and this is very very useful for a lot of people want to incorporate this in their workflow or their teams as it can be a very convenient way for you to have an ai assistant solve certain menial tasks now this is just one example as to what they've done so if you're interested in this video i highly recommend you watch it out on the github repo there's also a lot of different types of examples over here and you can see there is something in which it can help you with research and development scenarios in this example they deployed troubleshooted logs give you a log summarization it built an initiation and it gave you a pr digestion it was able to do this by developing and deploying your own k8 based service to staging production using argo there is an example for this you have finops you're also able to have secops and it also works on devops as well you can see there's a lot of examples and they have a log for all the data in their actual demo which you can access on their github repository so if you're interested in this i highly recommend that you go through the examples so you can get a better idea as to what you're able to actually accomplish with jenny in conclusion this is quite an early project i know i stated that it's better than chat but it's something that is in development that has the potential to become like chat I highly see that this becomes something that could be very beneficial for a lot of people. So definitely keep an eye out for this project. I hope you're interested and you got some sort of value throughout today's video. This is quite a new project, so keep that in mind when you're utilizing this. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, you got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. And they definitely give the world of ai on twitter a follow if you guys haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news lastly make sure you check out this chat that video and subscribe turn off kitchen bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas